This world is dark. He lives in a world with no sunshine. No beautiful face of a loved one. And what about the doctors? What did they do? Cataracts came just after I was born. I was just a kid. The doctors kept cutting them away. They just grow back. So there was nothing to be done. Tell me, boy, what can you see? Can you see anything? I see the world as little bits of blue, green, yellow. Then the blackness closes in again. Little bits of day, surrounded by an eternal night. Is this what the good book promises? The good book says, and a child shall lead them. Well, not this child, because he is blind, and because all the powers of man and his medicine could not heal him, but I can. And I will. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to reach deep down in your hearts. I want you to reach deep down in your pockets to help this poor little boy and for those of us who work for our Lord. I want to hear you say, I believe. I believe. I want to move the earth. I want to shake the heavens in this firmament. Say, I believe. Oh, Lord, I believe. Well, I don't. And neither should you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry to break things up like this, but what you're witnessing here is a crime. A crime against every one of you and a crime against reason. Ladies and gentlemen, what you are in fact witnessing is the work of the devil. This man is drunk. What, uh, what color is my hair? What kind of jacket am I wearing? I can't see. The cataracts, I'm blind. Please, leave this poor boy alone. All he wants to be is healed. Well then, let me heal him. Why would a blind man wear contact lenses. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, any salvation, any healing will surely not come from frauds and charlatans, but if you must give away your money, give it to medical research. There you are, you lying phony! Do you realize how long I've been waiting for you? Come back here! You don't get away with this!
thought you could get away. You promised to cure me. No. No, I didn't promise you anything. It was God's will. You took everything I had. All my money, everything. Was that God's will? And I'm dying! <laughs> Buddy, keep your money on the way home. What's the matter with you? Hey, what's the matter? <sighs> Is it good? Six months ago, I was a different person. Yeah, it's one of those faith healers. No, 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 wait a minute, but the picture's not so bad. Ryan, what did you do? Now it's the only channel we get. Okay, so we got a choice between this and wrestling. I'll fix it. Let me turn it back just for a second. Would you look at this guy, quite the entertainer. And when I see the suffering, a little part of me bleeds. Fix it, please. I can't take much more of this. Patience and tolerance. I thought those were traditional female virtues. Just let me see if I can record this with the VCR. I can heal money. And that is why I have to plead with you, brothers and sisters, to open your purses, your wallets, and give. Give so that we can continue to heal. I have the power. The 
power that courses through me, that would burn and sear my flesh without this protection. Oh my God. God. What's with him? I am given the power. I thought I recognized that glove. The guy looked like he stole his act from Michael Jackson. Hmm. It's called the Sforza glove. Never heard of it. Oh, well, there's no reason why you would. I brought it back from Rome on one of my voyages from when I used to be in the Merchant Marine. It's from the time of Da Vinci. Now, this was made for Antonio Sforza by his court physician. Sforza? Mm. He was an alchemist, wasn't he? Yes, how do you know that? Well, I studied the Renaissance Italian court at university. <laughs> good career move. Anyway, uh, he was supposed to provide good health for the ruling families, you know, for the elite. At least that's the story that they put around. I don't know that it ever really worked, at least until it came over here. But now it heals people. Mm-hmm, so it would seem. But I wonder at what cost. Gone a long time. I hope he's okay. Maybe he got lucky. I'm, I'm going. I'm willing to go. All right. Take it. Eat. Boy, I was 30 years younger. Well, maybe 20. Okay, yeah, try yeah, it one yeah, at a time, yeah, though, you guys. Yeah. Should we ask you how it went? Oh, it was fine, Ryan. It was just great. Right up to the time that they caught me. Oh, you see what they did to those? Look. Are those your... My lockpicks. Yeah, what kind of people have been the man's lockpicks? Well, did you at least find out where it is? Well, I found the office. I didn't see whether he got the glove in there. Oh, hell, Mickey, I don't even know if I had the office. I may have been trying to break into a closet. Well, what do we do now? I'll try and find another way in there. You guys keep an eye on the entrance in case he goes out, huh? What if he does? Well, follow him. See if he's got the glove. Uh, try and get an autograph out of him. Make a, uh, an arrangement to meet him. Anything. I can tell him about my sick aunt. Yeah, be very careful, though. He'll probably have a couple of goons with him. Huh? No big deal. We can get our bones busted and healed on the same evening. At least somebody's having a good time. Yep, sounds as though they're almost done, though. Look, there he is. Jack's got this guy figured all wrong. No goons, no nothing. He's just by himself. Which way you went? No, go that way. your dog? Yes. Nice dog.
Love somehow must absorb one person's affliction and transfer it to someone else. But the woman we saw wasn't just sick, she was dead. Yeah, well, maybe that love stores and amplifies the affliction some way. And then whoever the glove touches gets it in spades. That's exactly what I mean. Well, then we've got to find a way to get to our faith healer before he does any more healing. We can't let this happen to anyone else. Yes. But we do need help. We've got to find someone to get us close to Fischoff. I think I know exactly the man we can call on, yes. Let's go. Yeah, no, I have to see him alone. He's, um, peculiar. He's decidedly peculiar. Sodom and Gomorrah. A world that demands sacrifice. Well, why not sacrifice in his name? Why not let him smile down on you for supporting his healing works throughout the world? We have missions of healing in 26 countries. <laughs> Jerry, you old pirate, it's been a lot of years. How the hell are you? Huh? Are you tempted to uh, re-certify your ticket because this thing isn't going anywhere, you know? <laughs> yeah. It does remind me how I miss the smell of bunker crude and dead fish. Well, you haven't lost your drive, have you? Well, what's this? Homework? Exactly what it is, oh, yes. Work. After all this time, how many has it been that you've debunked, hey, Jerry? Well, let me see. In the last 20 years, I guess I've exposed about 400 parasites. And not one of them even came close to being the real thing? No, I'm afraid not, Jack. Just uh, frauds and hustlers preying on the helpless and extorting what they can. Well, I guess you just never met up with the real one. Jack, you and I will never see eye to eye on any of this stuff. That's why I, I like you. Now, what can I do for you? Well, I need your help. Stuart Fischoff. Stuart Fischoff. Uh, I broke him almost a year ago. Yeah, well, he's back. So I've heard. Hotter than ever. Uh, but Jack, contrary to what you might think, I can only be at one place at one time. I'll get around to him, though. I was hoping that you'd get to him now. Let me show you something. You're going to tell me about Stuart Fischoff? He's a greasy little jerk with a fast mouth and a line he's lifted from a, a classic comic book. He's definitely not somebody I figured you'd be involved with, Jack. There is a reason. Take a look. This. Our brother John. Brother John. Who will be relieved of this burden? Why the interest? Jerry, we've had our differences over the years, but now. Are you going to tell me that this man has supernatural powers? Keep no. 
Oh, Fischoff's a fraud, and that's all he ever will be. We both know that. But he's got hold of an item that lets him heal, truly heal. Huh. Jack, is this for you try out your magic top hat routine? Glove, actually. What? That glove that he's wearing. It works, Jerry. It heals. <sighs> oh, yeah. Let's say that for the sake of argument, you're correct. What harm is there in that? It does have some unpleasant side effects. Oh, I believe you. I do. I've seen things, too. I go out and heal the wounded world. Jerry, Fischoff has the glove and it works. That's why he's become so famous. That's why he's big and becoming bigger. The bigger he gets, the more dangerous he gets. And you believe that with this glove, you can heal with a touch any illness any disease. I do. Well, then, I think you better tell me what it is that you want me to do. Stu, I have been very impressed with your recent success. Yes. I'd imagine you would be. Kind of um, shoots holes in your theories, doesn't it? Well, that's what we'll find out. Because if I'm wrong, I think I'm big enough to admit it. Oh, really? You mean after all the humiliation you've put me through? Let me tell you something, Jerry. Whether you can accept it or not, there's a power that is greater than both of us that is running through me, blessing me. Yeah. It's called greed. time I can do it, Jerry. I really can. I think you're lying. You? Why are you doing this? Because you're a fraud and a hypocrite. And I can prove it. I'm gonna break you, Stu, and this time you'll stay broken. your challenge. Did you arrange for someone to be the patient? Yes, I have. In fact, I've found someone who is terminally ill, dying. What? Why do you do that? This person will die if a miracle is not found. Well, then he's an imposter. I could even do it. Why do that if you can have the real thing? Because there's no way that we're going to let Fischoff actually heal someone. Why not? If he can heal, let him heal. There's always a price to pay, Jerry. First the glove heals, and then the glove kills to pay for it.
talking about? This thing has been set in motion. I mean, you want the glove, you'll get the glove. But you don't have any say in this anymore. Jerry, what's the matter with you? You want to know what the matter with me is? Jerry, you can't. You don't understand the consequences. I have no choice. None. Oh, look at this. Standard Marine issue. Isn't it ironic that after all these years of unbelieving, the one person in the world who might actually be able to save me is a faith healer. Shouldn't you have called by now? Jack knows what he's doing. Yeah, but that business with the glove... Scares me. Me too. Jack can handle it. And he's with a friend. A friend. A peculiar friend. Remember? I could just see Jack with that disease. Looking like that woman in the alley. Mickey, he'll be fine. I hope so. Jerry, you've never been a criminal before. I've never been dying before, Jack. That glove, he's gonna have to kill someone. I can't afford to care about that. Understand, Jack, it's my life. And for the first time in 20 years of arguing about the supernatural, I hope you're right and I'm wrong. Get up there, I want you to stand right outside the door. If you hear anything, inside, fast. You got it. Where's your patient, Jerry? Did you bring the glove? The glove? <laughs> what about the glove? Uh, it's part of how you heal, isn't it? Did you bring it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I brought the glove. Um, but now I need a patient, Jerry. My time is very valuable. He's right here. Heal me. That's not funny, Jerry. It's not a joke. I'm dying. Now, can you heal me? Or are you another imposter? You're dying? What have you got? Is that important? No, 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 no. Um, look, I can heal anything. 
you must understand, Jerry. All the nightmares. And all the times I've spent hating your guts. And now, now, look at your life. Late. He should have been back by now. Yeah, yeah, something's gone wrong. We've got to go get him. Ryan, we have to stay here. Yeah, yeah, that was before. Look, something's gone wrong. I knew it. I, something felt bad about the whole thing. Okay. So where does Jerry live? What do you want? you believe, Jerry? <sighs> what? This is what you want, isn't it, Jerry? Right. Then you play by the rules. Why don't you kneel down in front of me? Come on. I said kneel down. I must hear you. Now close your eyes. And say, I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. Well, then if you believe, you must be healed. Hey! the wrong hand. Well, maybe next time. Heal me or I'll kill you. Jerry, look, maybe you think I'm not serious. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh!
deserved he was a pig what are you gonna do now Jerry if this glove works the way it's supposed to I can heal myself and then I'm gonna need you aren't I Oh, there you are. Ah, uh, there's something in here about a cape that... Jack? Yeah, I hear you. Well, I've been reading up about this cape, and I really think that we should... Are you all right? I've known that. I've known Jerry all my life. He was my friend. He just tried to kill me. I'm sorry. Wonderful, isn't it? Wonderful, all the things that my friends have done for me. There's Jerry, who tries to get me infected with that damn disease, and then good old Lewis. He takes all the wonderful things that I brought him here, and he lets them be cursed by the devil, so I have to run around for the rest of my life trying to get them back. 
you want to leave? Yes, I want to leave. So, but of course, you and, and Brian would wind up... Look, I understand that you've lost a great friend. But we've all given up something for this damn place. And if all we are to you is some kind of a liability, well, then maybe we'd be better off without you. Hey, hey, Just a... hey, hey. Will you guys hold on for a couple of seconds? Vicky, Jack lost a friend. He's lonely. Jack, you're not alone in this world. You still got friends. We're your friends. Now, can you guys keep it down? I've got the worst head cold in history. Yeah, Ryan, Ryan, here. There's an ancient remedy that just never fails. You take a clove of garlic picked under a full moon, you crush it, rub it all over your chest, and then once down... Once no, down. no, 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 no. 30 milligrams of oreomycin. A subcutaneous injection. Chemicals. Look, I've got a great idea. Let's have a contest. You try magic, and I'll try science. Do I have any say? Hey, but if he gets worse... Or dies. It all dies. Then all bets are off, okay? Yeah. Uh, Ryan! Thanks for watching. If you'd like to help us produce more compelling historical content like this, please like, comment below, and share this video with fellow history buffs. And of course, be sure to subscribe to help keep history happening.